Thinking aloud. Conversations on the leading edge of knowledge and discovery with psychologist Jeffrey Mishlove. The most impressive cases would be those where people uh, want to communicate with deceased relatives or friends, and they get very detailed, intimate um, evidence that the uh, communicator is who he or she claims to be. Mm -hmm. So, for example, in the famous case of the American medium Leonora Piper, uh, Mrs. Piper was very famous for being able to come up with uh, details time after time uh, between the same communicator, for example, and lots of people who knew that communicator, mm -hmm. that communicator when he or she was alive. Mm -hmm. The most famous example would be the GP personality, George Pelu. Mm -hmm. um, I think 150 people communicated with the GP communicator. 30 of them knew GP well during his life. Of those 30 people who interviewed the GP communicator, he correctly identified 29 of them the only one he missed was someone who the last time he saw when alive was a little girl, but at this time when she communicated mm -hmm. with him, she was an adult. In, in other words, these people are typically are called sitters, sitters. who attend the seance, Correct. and uh, in the best of circumstances, they are anonymous. They, the medium is never introduced to uh, them by name. Right. Uh, the medium didn't know who they were. Um, the sitters all felt that they were really in touch with someone who could uh, communicate with them about things that would have been known only to the two of them. Mm -hmm. um, I should add that Mrs. Piper was scrupulously examined. She was trailed by detectives uh, sent by the members of the Society for Psychical Research. To see that she wasn't on the sly researching Absolutely. Uh, this sort of thing. Absolutely. Yeah. And her career went on for many, many years mm -hmm. providing evidence of this quality. Well, an interesting thing about Mrs. Piper uh, <coughs> who worked with William James right. extensively, yeah, and that's probably why she became so famous. Uh, she was also tested by uh, another famous American psychologist, Stanley Hall. And uh, to my recollection, uh, he, he claimed that she provided no evidence whatsoever. I forget the details of that experiment right now, but yeah. I do remember that she was treated very poorly, mm -hmm. and it was transformative for her mediumship because after that she didn't do quite as well as uh, afterwards. So, yeah. and, you know, mediums need to be handled with the same sort of respect and caution as every experimental subject. Mm -hmm. Well, and I'm under the impression that Stanley Hall was skeptical uh, yes. from the very beginning, although yes. I, I did read the book and, and he uh, at least went so far as to commend Mrs. Piper for her willingness to cooperate with him over an extended period of time. Yes, no one had any doubts about Mrs. Piper's character. Mm -hmm. um, some had doubts about her mediumship, and even William James wasn't sure that she provided evidence of survival. He was in no doubt whatsoever that uh, she exhibited some sort of, he called it, supernormal faculty. Yes. Well, I, I gather that there were moments when he felt pretty impressed that from a dramatic point of view, I think as he expressed it, uh, it was convincing, if not scientifically convincing. Absolutely, yes. It had that kind of visceral uh, quality which the very best cases, in fact, usually have. Mm -hmm.